G'day, down the shed today, doing some work on a 200 series for a mate. I'm gonna run through a few jobs. The main one is changing out the fan belt. Just a simple little job. Preventive maintenance, or if you're on the side of the road. Righto, we'll get into it. All right, before you even start tackling the job, make sure you've got the correct fan belt for your car. Now I've gone genuine, only because I've had dramas with belts before. Double check with your VIN number at Toyota, or you know what I mean. Make a uh, mud map of where the belt goes. Doesn't have to be flash, as you can see. Or you've got technology on your phone, take a photo of it, or a video, and go from there. Oh, focus. It'll make it easier to get into that area. We'll just take this plastic cover off. It's only two 10 mil nuts that hold it down. That intercooler covers out of the way. We need to get down to that tensioner there with a 14 mil spanner. Now with a 14 mil double ringy on that tensioner, push it towards the passenger side. So down. Now that belt's loose, let's pull it off. So now with the belt off, we're only changing this out as a preventive maintenance thing. This one's okay still. So we'll be able to throw this in the back as a spare, because you never know. And for 80 bucks, it doesn't hurt to, or roughly about 80 bucks, it doesn't hurt to throw a new one on. While you have the belt off, just double check bearings. Your water pump. Now we know this one's a bit how you're going, because the telltale hole's leaking. We're replacing that after. Tensioner bearing, give that a spin. Now we might have to order another bearing for that one later. Same with the alternator down the bottom, give that a spin, see what you can hear. And same with the, fan, the tensioner, give that a spin and see what you can hear and make sure it's all good. Your fan bearing, make sure there's no movement. Go from there. Now I've got the belt around all the pulleys. I've uh, I pulled it back off the water pump. Because what I'll do, back to the tensioner. So I've got the spanner on there. I've got it over the tensioner. Ah. Take the tension. Now this is uh, rather tight. And I'll thread it back over the water pump. Right, with a little bit of a wrestle, I've got the belt on. Now if you zoomed right down onto the aircon you can see that it's not on the pulley properly but I'm just going to have to take a couple of um, shots at readjusting so as you can see your arms fit in here quite well. Right, that one there is all on. Now you look back at the fan, it's not on properly. Oh, there we go, she popped on. Double check over by your alternator. Make sure everything's in place. That's about it. Down on the crank, make sure it's in place. Righto, we're pretty much good to go again. What I'll do now is I'll just start it up without any covers on. Just have a gander, make sure it's all good. Then you basically just gotta put your intercooler Cover back on. Draw that reference somewhere in your workshop manual. Yeah, let's see how we go. Righto, let's start it up. 
Make sure everything's sweet. We got it. Now obviously let this idle for a bit, make sure everything's right. If not, obviously switch it off and readjust. So at the end of that, basically got a way of using 14mm double ringy. 10 mil socket just to pull that intercooler cover off. If you have the opportunity to buy a zero offset spanner, this is 9 sixteenths, but it's 14 mil as well, um, that would be the go. Or a 14 mil socket and a long, like sort of breaker bar, that would make the job a hell of a lot easier. The genuine belt, if you didn't grab, grab the part number before. Well, dirty thumbs up. If this video has any help to you, please give us a like. And if you want to follow what else I do down the shed, just hit the subscribe. Catch you later.